clustering is the process of breaking down a large population or a large data set into smaller groups. As an analyst, you will often face this question where you need to organize the data that you are observing into some kind of a meaningful structure or pattern. And this is where clustering comes in handy. Clustering allows you to break a population into smaller groups where each observation within every group is more similar to each other than it is to an observation in another group. So the idea is to group together similar kind of observations into smaller groups and thus break down the population, the large heterogeneous population that you are seeing into smaller more homogeneous groups. So let's take an example to understand how clustering works exactly. Imagine that you own a chain of ice cream shops. Okay, You've got a number of ice cream shops spread across the country. Say you've got eight of them and you sell two flavors of ice cream. You sell chocolate ice cream and you sell vanilla ice cream. Now in this table here you can see the sales of uh, both chocolate and vanilla ice cream across your eight stores. The units are not important, the, uh, the time frame is not important for what we are doing but just uh, just imagine that this is the data that you are uh, that you are looking at. Now there are many different ways you can make sense of this data. You can look at summary statistics, you can calculate the mean, median, you can calculate the spread of the variables, the disp dispersion in order to get a better sense of this data. One very intuitive way of uh, doing this is to plot this data on a graph. So here we've uh, plotted the sales of uh, both chocolate and vanilla ice cream for each of these eight stores. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dots here. Each of these dots represents a store. And on the Y axis you have your chocolate sales and on the X axis you have your vanilla sales. So you've mapped these eight stores by their chocolate and vanilla sales and you've created a scatter plot. This is a very intuitive way of uh, looking at this data to understand what, what this data is saying. Now when you look at this graph, when you look at the data on this graph, there is one very clear insight that has come from this and that is that you can divide your stores into two distinct groups. You have one large group of stores, one group of five stores here and you have another group of stores which is here, which has three stores. So essentially your eight stores can be divided into two different groups that behave slightly differently in terms of their chocolate and vanilla sales. The difference essentially is in terms of the magnitude of the sales. In group one you can see the sales of both chocolate and vanilla ice cream are lower than in group two. So what we've done is we've just looked at the sales of uh, eight stores for, for these two flavors of ice cream and we've uh, plotted them on a graph and then we've just divided the, the stores into two groups based on where they were on the graph and their proximity to each other. So this is essentially how clustering works. This is a very simple uh, two-dimensional example of how clustering works but this accurately explains how really the algorithm works. Now in order to better understand this algorithm, let's just look at one more thing that we've done here quite intuitively actually without even realizing. So when we are grouping these uh, stores, when we've created these two groups, what have we done here? We've at a very intuitive level, what we've done is between these three stores, if I look at the cluster on the top, we've taken one imaginary point somewhere in the center and we've drawn a circle around it, right? Similarly, for group two, we've taken an imaginary point and we've drawn a circle around it and all the observations that fall within that circle are grouped together into one cluster. So that's essentially how clustering works. Now this is an example where we have two flavors of ice cream and we have eight stores. Now imagine that you've uh, expanded your chain of ice cream stores and instead of two flavors you're selling 30 different flavors now. You're selling banana ice cream, you're selling dark chocolate ice cream, you're selling Belgian chocolate, you're selling all kinds of flavors and you're selling 30 different uh, flavors. So how will you plot how will you plot this information on a graph now you can't 
draw a 30 dimensional graph right there's no way we can visualize a 30 dimensional graph and uh, imagine if instead of eight stores now you've grown to 500 stores okay so instead of eight points you will have 500 different points on the graph now that's still easier to visualize but if you have uh, something else where you've got a million records then you have a million different points and if you have thousands of variables then you have thousands of different dimensions so there is a mathematical way of dealing with such complexity and that is what cluster analysis does let's understand how the clustering algorithm works in a little more detail